Okay, so I finally got a camera I can record on since my iPhone is a piece of crap and it doesn't take pictures or videos anymore. It just sits there and goes like this and it won't zoom in or focus. It just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I got a better camera now. So today's project, what we're doing is I want to make a striking anvil with my new chunk of steel I just got. So unfortunately I couldn't record the welding process, but I already have welded together my two pieces of uh, metal that I have. Don't have much, gotta work with what I got. So I'm gonna attach this to a base, which I'm gonna use a old railroad track base and fill this with sand. Got it all welded up, fairly good. Look at that ugly weld. So this, I was experimenting, this is 6010, and then the better stuff is 7014. 6010, 6010, 6010. Look at that wonderful beadwork. Oh, and that little nice spot there, that's 70, what did I say, 7014. That's better, can weld a lot better with that. And that's the 6010 again. But for free, I'll take it. Finally warmed up a little bit. It's been 15 below zero for about the last week or so here in Minnesota. Got the little torch going. Little space heater going. So I'll try to record as much as I can before this phone dies since it's not that charged up. Here's what I got going so far for the base. I have it fairly cleaned off, so I can weld it on there. Then we're gonna fill the tubes up with sand. I have a couple of bags of uh, sand left. I need to figure out a way to mount this camera to record to what I'm doing. Bear with me here. All right, so the recording, there we go. I wear face shield. I had too much stuff in my eyes not to wear protective gear.
So this is the big piece of steel I picked up. It's about, I don't even know, two and a half, I think by seven by seven square. It weighs, I don't remember, it's like 55 pounds. Too shabby. So I have this one, and this is my old one that my father-in-law found at his work. Solid steel, but it has this weird handle on it. But I weighed this. This is 55 pounds exactly. I use this side because I can kind of use this section here as my uh, pritchel hole. I would use this bottom part, but it's all messed up. There's a big, well, not a big hole, but it's about maybe three quarters of an inch deep. I tried to put a piece of uh, metal in there and weld it so it was one smooth surface, but it didn't turn out so well. Let's see here. All right. Thing with railroad track bottoms, they're never level, they're always at an angle like this. Usually, where the track runs, as you can see, my level not. I think I'm going to take a quick break here and charge up the phone. We'll be back. All right. I'm going to do a couple tack welds on this bad boy. And a little note to any new people out there who is getting into welding. Never buy a cheap auto darkening helmet. They're freaking garbage. So if you want an auto darkening helmet, spend the money, get a good one, good Jackson or Lincoln or don't buy that cheap crap on Amazon like I did for 30 bucks because if you tap a lot like I do and it goes on and off, it's not fast enough and you get flashed. And I had headaches for about a week straight from using that crappy helmet. And so I bought this cheap one here with the Peekaboo lid, nine dollars at uh, Northern Tool Tool Supply, and it's freaking great. So, all right, here we go. A couple tack welds. Click on the beast. Hey, she looks fairly level. Still level, a good sign. Stop there, clean it off, and go from there. Changing my gloves. Chip hammer, my little brush. that 
actually stayed fairly level. Usually, it always bends to one side, you know? You go to weld something together and the metal heats up and then it goes, Bleh. wow. There's a nice little gap down there too. All right, maybe I'll just do the whole thing real quick, yeah. Give you a shot of my welder. This is a Powercraft from Montgomery Wards. I got this off a guy on Craigslist for 60 bucks. It's been in his basement for the last 15 years. There's not a single fray in any of these cables. Just beautiful. It runs phenomenal. I mean, this thing is probably bought in the 80s. And for 60 bucks, I I couldn't pass it up. I'll do a full review on this later. So here we go. There we go. So anybody's wondering what I'm using, this is Hobart 7014 uh, 5 second rod. I like the bigger stuff, it lasts a little bit longer, and the 7014 seems to weld pretty well. I want to try the 7018, I haven't tried that yet. That's next on my list. Shut her off and clean her up. Like I said, it's been very cold here in Minnesota. First day in over a week that it's gotten above zero. Just been in a freaking deep freeze. So I didn't have to turn on the big heater, the propane heater. Sometimes I just turn on my forge. And that gets the garage pretty warm. But I actually did some repair work on my forge, so I'm still letting that dry. I'll do a full video on that some other time. Definitely not my worst. Definitely not my best. But you see the pipe smoke there. All right, 
we're back. I got the sand out. I'm gonna fill this mother up with sand to add a few extra pounds. Just gotta find a good funnel. Make it just a small hole so it doesn't freaking go everywhere. All right, there we go. Can these roll? That's not heavy. Hope you guys can see. Oh, don't tell me it's already full. Oh, she's already full. Let's do the other side. That was quick. Just making a big old mess of everything. some full see how much she weighs now uh, I can still pick it up with one hand I'd say it's got to be at least 50 pounds at the end we'll get out the scale and we'll wear so let's see one hand with this and then try to pick up the block which one weighs more yeah the block weighs more so if that's between 50 and 60 pounds I'd say this is a good 40 pounds I mean because there's not a ton of room for the sand to be in there hell these are only one by one by twos maybe one by three You piece of crap. There you go. Three by three. Well, I think it's come along pretty good. Should we paint it? Or should I wait? I think I might paint the base and then try to weld the top on, and we'll be done. Very low budget. Metal's free. The sand I had from last year, which I keep in the back of my truck, but at Menards, the 70-pound bag of sand, these right here, I think are 
$3.99 or $4.99, under $10. Actually, I think they're under $5. So, so far, the only thing I've used of my own are the welding rods, which you can pick up a five pound thing of Hobart rods at Fleet Farm. I think it was $11.99. And then those go a long ways because they're the big five 32nd inch rods. So, so far overall investment, $10 material plus what I paid for the big slab. Which wasn't that much, but these are still kind of expensive just because it's pure weight. And it is uh, the red stuff. What is that? What is it red again? It's uh, cold rolled steel, solid. I got from, uh, I'm not going to say the place, but it's a uh, there's one in Roseville, Minnesota, and there's one in Burnsville, Minnesota. So, I mean, they're okay. When I was thinking, putting this, I almost think it's too small. Let's see if it'll focus there. It's one eighth inch plate. Putting this on the top. I got it all mark, marked out. see here there we go line that up like that putting that on there like that and then slapping the big boy on top Let's see if I can do this one-handed excuse the shake Whoa. I don't want to drop it on my toe so once said and done what do you think? Like that? Or should I just mount the big chunk right to the post? I don't know. Can't make up my mind. all my junk in the back. Some more scrap steel. More crap I worked on when I was blacksmithing. I got the blanket over my propane tanks there so when I weld I don't blow myself up. Craftsman uh, air compressor. I just took the top off of it. It's over there. Yeah. Stupid little table I built. Hmm. Alright, give me a minute to think well how I want to do this. Make a little more room in there. Maybe squeeze a little bit more sand in there. Oh, I bumped the camera. Hold on. Still recording? Yes.
Ooh, spilled a little bit. Oh, man. Those bags, I think, are 70 pounds. It was a little complicated trying to hold that in this tiny little funnel. There we go. Here, just trying to get the camera set. I have to use a old cell phone until I. Okay, 